Thank you very much, uh, uh, Maria. Thank you for all the speakers and uh, also from my side, congratulations to um, uh, Alex Saliba for the enormous work uh, that the European Parliament has has done. I, I uh, having worked in this area um, for years now and working on it intensively and also in close cooperation with uh, uh, with the European uh, um, pa Parliament uh, throughout the process. I I, I can um, vouch for the. Um, for my admiration of the uh, um, process and, and, and the quality of the work um, and, and the um, diligence with, uh, with which uh, um, all, 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 the, all the parties have uh, come together to, to produce a kind of what is uh, I see as rocket fuel for the upcoming negotiations um, as, we, as we go into a, a proposal, hopefully, um, by the end of the year. Um, I, I will not... Um, respond to all the individual items that have been um, have been discussed here because it's a very rich uh, um, uh, set of issues and, um, and but simply maybe give you a couple of, of, of my perspective. So the Commission has um, of course uh, um, taken very close notice of, of the of the Parliament's report and the others uh, um, as well that are coming and we will study them very carefully um, with a view of, of um, including as many um, elements as possible in in the commission's own, own, own proposal. Uh, that's uh, um, just uh, up up, uh, up front. At, at the same time, we have two other processes that are worth highlighting. I think um, one is that we have um, concluded a public consultation on the eighth of September, and we're in the process of analysing some three thousand responses um, to that public consultation. And uh, it's a, um, a very good uh, um, feedback number. Of these 3,000 responses, there is a good um, fraction from ordinary citizens, which shows how um, ordinary people are caring about the top topics that we are um, that we are discussing here today. So this is not just some abstract uh, um, technical proposal, even though many of the terms that we are using are very abstract and maybe um, very technical, like uh, limited liability exemptions and 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 and, and legal um, legal sophistications around active and passive. Uh, a host that were just mentioned before. But so my first message was there was an overwhelming response also from the general public um, to the um, to the po uh, consultation, just showing um, the, the the wide importance of um, and the expectations also of citizens for for the union to take uh, to take these matters in, in the hand um, and to, to define a set of rules that work for um, for citizens of the of the EU. Um, the second thing um, I just want to mention is that we are in the process uh, very intensively at the moment of uh, of uh, carrying out our impact assessment study, and this is a, a exceptional complex um, process on such a wide ranging um, topic. And I think it's uh, it's uh, it's already clear from uh, from the previous discussion that uh, even though um, we are um, speaking of horizontal framework rules. There are so many issues that uh, that fall into the scope of uh, of, of these uh, of, of these proposals that need to be assessed and analysed. So uh, we are we are fully uh, busy with that. I think one thing, although perhaps many in the audience have perhaps heard me or others say this um, before, I just want to um, remind ourselves a little bit on the kind of objectives that the Commission is um, is working towards because I'm. For, for just to keep those objectives in, in mind. And, and I think that um, uh, we can organize a little bit some of the comments around these objectives as well and to see how the content of the regulatory ideas that have been discussed previously can fit into the various objectives. Now, if you, our first starting point is to have users, meaning citizens basically, who use the internet in, in mind. This is who we're designing for. This is our primary, uh, this is our, our primary concern and, and, we, and, and our key and first objective of our proposal is to ensure that that users on the internet are safe, free, and empowered. And this is a this is a very important objective. So safe means that they have adequate um, protection um, uh, for for legal content, particularly. This was mentioned um, earlier. Um, free means that none of the uh, none of the rules here uh, limit in any way um, individuals' freedom of expression. Um, and empowered means that they have um, um, choice either um, on a particular platform um, when it comes to uh, the way, for, for example, that content is uh, presented to them, but also empowered when it comes to um, abilities to switch or take their um, business elsewhere. So those are also, um, um, those, those are also um, key important elements of, of being empowered. So this is our primary objective. Um, but then 
we are also of course uh, um, keen to uh, um, in the in the digital single market um, to have uh, conditions particularly after the um, coronavirus crisis uh, for companies to operate um, in in such a way that uh, doesn't limit innovation but at the same time provides adequate accountability and oversight over some of the most systemic actors that we have in in the union so for companies our objectives are really that we want to have a single set of uniform rules that apply to every digital service um, that might be graduated according to the size and the importance of of um, the service because not not, not every um, website can be um, or infrastructure service as was mentioned by some others it has the same externalities as uh, as as some of the biggest platforms in the in the in the European Union and then uh, for companies as well so a single set of coherent rules that we would uh, that we would define in the digital services act is is important so kind of ground rules and this uh, this this uh, um, relates to both um, issues related to content moderation, cooperation with authorities, but also so-called do's and don'ts um, of uh, when it comes to uh, um, fair and contestable business practices on such uh, platforms. And we also want companies to be um, subject to a, an effective um, oversight framework um, that, that brings together um, uh, the all of the European um, uh, uh, kind of responsible authorities into a coherent uh, mechanism so that they don't have to deal with 27 different regimes and uh, across 27 different countries but with a simpli simplified method. At the same time this needs to be balanced against the, the legitimate expectations of citizens to be able to um, get help if something goes wrong in their own language in their own country. So um, this is a, a one, one aspect of our, our work. So I mentioned the users, I mentioned the companies, our objectives and we also have been looking at it from the perspective of public authorities um, who have come to us very much uh, looking for a much more effective cooperation mechanism um, uh, in, the, in the European Union. Uh, um, both a cooperation mechanism for interacting with companies um, as well as with other pub public authorities, um, be, be other public authorities in another member state or um, with sector specific regulators as it may be most appropriate. So our um, objective for public authorities is also to streamline and to define into um, a cooperation mechanism that allows effective interaction with businesses without necessarily leading to a proliferation of different um, interfaces, uh, to streamline that interface with, with companies, but also to put in place an effective cooperation mechanisms across borders and with the necessary sector specific regulators. So just I think maybe my my response to this um, overall then in a sum, in a nutshell is that I really welcome um, the the work of the European Parliament um, the 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 many contributions also from um, the other uh, participants on the panels uh, who have kind of so um, taken the public consultation to heart and contributed with uh, detailed and diligent contributions um, alongside the many citizens who have expressed their expectations for this process and just uh, um, you know, recall that I think we are agree on many of the objectives um, that we that the Commission is trying to um, lay out, and 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 so um, the next stop will be um, the Commission proposal by the end of the year, uh, where we'll be um, trying to um, take as many uh, um, ideas uh, on board of the European Parliament, also um, to with the hope of a of a speedy negotiation process. Um, uh, that reflects both the expectations of citizens to, to quickly come to an agreement uh, on, on, on ambitious rules, but also um, using the, as I said, the rocket fuel of the European Parliament by having um, prepared the ground so well in many ways by, by, uh, um, by having analyzed and, and, and positioned themselves on many of the crucial issues at a level of detail, which, um, which I'm, I'm, I'm frankly very impressed about. So I'll, I'll leave it here and, and happy to take questions.